What's up guys, Houndish here, and today I wanted to jump in with a preview and a roundup for all of the exotics that we've seen for the final shape. So over the past week or so, Bungie have spoiled us, and we've had reveals and gameplay for new exotic weapons. So there's plenty of interesting stuff to talk about there. That includes brand new exotic weapons, of course, and some of the reprised weapons that Bungie revealed a few months back. We'll also talk about one or two catalyst items that are coming in the expansion. And additionally, Bungie have revealed details about the exotic class items and new exotic armor pieces is, as well as a little bit of information about how we're going to earn all of these in the expansion. So I figured we'd round up these details into one space. But before we get into it, guys, who is today's video sponsored by? Is it a VPN or perhaps a new pair of headphones? Or could it be the mightiest mobile game around? In fact, yes, it is. It's the biggest game that you can fit into your pocket, featuring over 700 epic champions with unique skills and deep customization, creating loads of gameplay combinations. And it's available to play for free right now on mobile devices and PC by scanning the QR code on screen. As well as in-depth customization for combat, there are many different ways to play across story modes, boss battles, dungeons, and PvP in the mighty Raid Shadow Legends. And right now there's a huge celebration for the arrival of Spring in Teleria, with a special Spring Hunt minigame where players can win awesome gaming consoles, as well as 10k worth of Amazon gift cards, by simply downloading Raid using my link below, and then heading to springhunt.polarium.com, where you can enter your Raid ID to start searching for missing items. And upon completion, you can win anything from in-game loot like legendary champions and upgrades, all the way to real-life prizes like consoles. The Spring Hunt event runs up until the 31st of May, and if players use promo code SPRINGHUNT24, they can unlock 10 XP brew, 100 energy, and 100,000 silver. Plus, new users will unlock epic heroes by using my link, including the boss killer Tayrol and Rector Drath, who's available at level 25. Once you've done that, why not search my in-game clan, House of Hounds, and join up for some epic adventures alongside Raid's Community Weeks, where players can unlock the legendary champion Chronicler Adeline by logging in for seven days before July 8th, as well as unlocking even more rewards by logging in week over week. Raid has tons of content, and if you want to get started today, new players can use my link or scan the QR code on screen to get a free starter pack with all of this awesome loot, which will appear in your in-game inbox for 30 days. So to get the download, hit the link below, and thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the video. And so initially, let's speak about exotic weapons. And one of the brand new and sort of more exciting ones, I suppose, overall, is a new heavy trace rifle that we'll get for the final shape. So this is called the Microcosm. It is one of the exotic weapons that we were most intrigued about following the showcase last year, as Bungie showed some concept art and they said that the weapon is inspired by the Traveler's Beam of Light. And now that we actually get to see gameplay for the weapon, the perk description that the trailer gives is that it deals massive bonus damage to shields, which in itself does doesn't necessarily sound super exciting. Of course, on a sandbox level, it will all depend exactly how much bonus damage we get. But from the gameplay alone, we can tell that there will be other aspects to the weapon. And while it always appears to fire this sort of white beam, some of the effects on the weapon seem to change based on the shields that it's actually hitting. So we see it kind of vaporize enemies in void and strand energy. Plus when it takes out this Hydra at the end, there's an almost ignition that takes place. And then the enemy seemingly is sucked out of reality. So we're definitely looking at a weapon which is different in terms of the element, perhaps it will be a prismatic weapon, but also in terms of definition, it could simply be referred to as a light weapon, given the theme and the way that it interacts with enemies. So a very interesting one, let us know your thoughts below. Next up though, another weapon which Bungie have revealed is a pretty cool new exotic sniper rifle. This is a Tex Mechanica weapon called Still Hunt, and as we can see, we can charge up power to fire golden gun shots. And we do see the hunter fire three or four shots before activating this sort of special mode for the weapon, where it literally becomes a golden gun sniper. So very much living up to the description that Bungie originally kind of gave for it or teased back in the Final Shape showcase. Plus it appears that it can actually fire multiple shots as a golden gun sniper. So obviously we'll know more about the ins and outs when we get to use it, but it's a pretty cool looking weapon for now. A returning weapon, though, that we have seen gameplay for very briefly is the Kvostov Exotic Auto Rifle. And for D2, Bungie have said every seventh bullet will ricochet. Again, this isn't a full exotic description. And we do see that final round ricochet between a bunch of targets. But there obviously will be extra functionality for the weapon. So I'm curious to see what that will be. An additional reprised exotic, though, is the Red Death Pulse Rifle. Now, Bungie have outlined recently that Pulse Rifles are going to see some significant PvE buffs overall. So that'll mean good things for Red Death. Of course, in Destiny 
one, enemy kills would grant healing and improve reload speeds, much like the Crimson Hand Cannon in Destiny 2. So like the other exotics we've seen, Bungie will almost certainly mix it up. So we know about those, and otherwise, of course, we will get a new raid exotic, and presumably Bungie haven't shared that yet, as they tend to be entirely secret. So a handful of stuff to look forward to nonetheless. On the subject of exotic weapons though, something else worth mentioning is that Bungie had hinted that Tessellation, the pre-order weapon for the final shape, is receiving a catalyst when the expansion drops, and that it will be subclass and ability related. And given that we're getting the prismatic subclass and the way that Tessellation actually operates, I guess the hint is that ultimately this will be a prismatic catalyst for the weapon, so that's also going to be very interesting. Let us know your thoughts on the exotic weapon so far. Otherwise though, Bungie have additionally shared exotic armor pieces. So first up, we've seen the Warlocks exotic, the Mateo Doxia. I'm probably saying that name wrong, but it allows arcane needles to cause a suspending detonation. So this is going to be an interesting one because, of course, it will require quite a bit of melee energy in order to actually do this suspend. So hopefully, given the melee energy cost, it's going to be able to refund melee energy when killing suspended targets. We haven't seen full perk descriptions, so there will almost certainly be more to it, and hopefully there'll be benefits to return that significant energy cost. We've also seen the Titan Exotic chest piece, though, as well. And this is the Hazardous Propulsion, which is an almost Exodus slash failsafe themed exotic. And class abilities will fire Exodus rockets. So it's a cool concept and it could potentially be pretty good. It's all really going to come down to whether the damage is on point and if there are ways to build into boosting that damage. Of course, it may also be quite the troll in PvP, so we'll have to see how it plays out. And finally, we've seen the Hunter Chest piece, which is the Gifted Conviction, and Arc Aspects will create bouncing explosives. So again, it's hard to say just how good it will be. Partially, it will come down to damage again, as well as other effects that the exotic perks will have. Hopefully, it will work with all of the Hunter perks, dodges, lethal current, Tempest Strike and Ascension, the description suggests that it probably will, so we'll just have to see. And in terms of how we earn these though, Bungie have outlined that Rewool is going to be the source for any new exotic armor that's released. And there'll be a new rewards program tied to the reputation track and roll. With the more engrams we decode, unlocking us reputation with him, and once we completely fill the reputation track, Raul will allow us into an elite club, giving us access to a new tier of focusing called Engram Insiders. And we'll be able to purchase any piece of exotic armor for any character on our account for one exotic engram and one exotic cipher, in addition to previous focusing costs. But there'll be no weekly limit to using the tier of focusing, as long as we have the materials to do it. And Bungie has said, with a little more than a full stock of exotic engrams will be able to start focusing for new armor. So get saving those Ascendant Shards and exotic engrams now, and hopefully we'll get access to these reasonably quick in the expansion. But obviously it certainly mixes it up based on how we've earned them previously from Lost Sectors, so let us know your thoughts on that as well. And finally, Bungie have outlined the introduction of exotic class items. So to earn these, they've said they'll be part of a new activity that unlocks after the raids world first at the beginning of week two. Bungie don't want to spoil what the activity is all about or how to unlock it, but it will be a farmable activity and we'll get guaranteed random rolls of these every time we complete it. So going to be cool to check these out. And of course, the exotic class items combine exotic perks from other pieces of gear for the first time. And you can see all of the potential options there on screen. And themed around the original armor pieces for the Hunter, the Essentialism class item will be able to get the Spirit of Assassin, Inmost Light, Ophidian, Dragon, Galanor, Foe Tracer, Caliban, and Renewal in the first slot, with the second column able to combine Spirit of the Star Eater, Syntheseps, Verity, Cytaragni, Gaia Falcon, The Liar, Wormhusk, and Coyote. So they'll essentially be able to get light versions of the exotic perks from other pieces of gear. The Titan's exotic mark, Stoicism, will be able to get Spirit of Assassin, Inmost Light, Ophidian, Severance, Hoarfrost, Eternal Warrior, the Abeyant, and the Bear in the first column, with the second column able to get Spirit of Star Eater, Syntheseps, Verity, Contact, Scars, The Horn, Alpha Loopy, and Armamentarium. And then finally, Warlocks will get Solipsism, which can get Spirit of Assassin, Inmost Light, Ophidian, The Stag, Filaments, Necrotic, Osmiomancy, and Apotheosis in the first column, with Star Eater, Syntheseps, Verity, Vespa, Harmony, Starfire, the Swarm, and the Claw in the second column. And again, as an example, Spirit of Assassin will allow finishers and powered melee final blows to grant invisibility, and Spirit of Star Eater, for example, says while your super energy is full, picking up an orb of power overcharges the super, granting it bonus damage. So we'll be combining exotic armor perks like never before, and Bungie have also said they're making a set of exotic armor balance adjustments with the launch of the final shape, including some buffs that will impact the original armor and the spirit versions that roll on these exotic class items. On top of that, Bungie 
Sanji have previewed what the class items will actually look like. So that's another dimension of exotic loot in the final shape. But no doubt we'll potentially see other exotic items introduced as part of the episodes, secret exotic weapon quests as well as things like the raid exotic. So there will certainly be even more to discover when the expansion actually drops. For today though guys, those are all the things that Bungie have previewed about exotics in the final shape. So once again, let us know your thoughts on them down below. If you've enjoyed the video for today though, be sure to get subscribed to the channel so I can keep you up to date. We're going to get more news in the coming couple of weeks. And then of course all of the content in final shape itself, so I will as always be keeping you posted. Otherwise though, cheers for tuning in and I hope you guys have an awesome day.